Welcome back to Terramator Gardens, and welcome to our edible weed series. Today we're exploring the intriguing world of Queen Anne's Lace, a plant often mistaken for a common roadside weed, but cherished for its culinary and medicinal uses. Queen Anne's Lace is also called Wild Carrot or Bird's Nest. Really cool fact, uh, Queen Anne's Lace is the wild progenitor of the cultivated carrot. Its edible root is similar in appearance and flavor to the familiar orange carrot we enjoy today. The plant's name is derived from a legend that Queen Anne of England pricked her finger and a drop of blood fell onto white lace, thus creating the distinctive purple florette found in the center of the flower cluster. Queen Anne's lace is often considered a weed due to its prolific seed production and ability to naturalize in various habitats. Native to Europe and Asia, it has spread to North America and other regions. Queen Anne's lace thrives in sunny fields, meadows, roadsides, and disturbed areas with well-drained soil. Its deep taproot makes it drought-resistant, but also challenging to eradicate once established in gardens or agricultural fields. It prefers open, sunny environments, but can tolerate some shade. Queen Anne's lace is surprisingly versatile in the kitchen. The young leaves and shoots can be eaten raw in salads or cooked like spinach. They have a mild, slightly earthy flavor reminiscent of carrots. The root, which is pale and thin compared to cultivated carrots, can be harvested in the fall and used in soups, stews, or roasted as a vegetable. One popular use for Queen Anne's lace flowers is to infuse them in vinegar to create a delicate herbal essence. Queen Anne's lace is not just tasty but also nutritious. It is rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamins A and C, which support immune function and skin health. The plant's roots contain beneficial compounds, which have been studied for their potential anti-cancer properties. Traditionally, Queen Anne's lace has been used in herbal medicine to promote digestion and relieve urinary tract infections. Beyond culinary and medicinal uses, Queen Anne's lace has several practical applications. The plant's flowers attract pollinators such as bees and butterflies, supporting garden biodiversity. Queen Anne's lace has also been used historically as a natural dye, producing shades of yellow and green. In folklore, the plant is associated with protection and fertility, and its seeds were carried as talisman against evil spirits. Queen Anne's lace may be considered a weed, but its culinary delights, medicinal benefits, and cultural significance make it a plant worth appreciating. From enhancing your meals to supporting biodiversity and folklore traditions, Queen Anne's lace offers more than meets the eye. Thanks for watching and joining us today on another episode of Edible Weeds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the fascinating world of edible plants. Happy foraging!